A new mural hanging at Divine Barrel Brewing, and soon it's going to be on a can. This is really cool. Tim Miner with Charlotte is Creative is here this morning to introduce us to the artists. Man, you bring the coolest people every time you come. I, I, it's because the, the coolest people are in the Charlotte Creative community, and I get to meet them for a job. For a job. It's brilliant. <laughs> Tell me about these guys. Oh, well, we picked Dier and Latroy for our program, The Drop, which uh, we do with Divine Barrel. Yep. Every quarter, we, we pick a, a nonprofit. This time, it was Charlotte Pride. Mm -hmm. And we're bringing out Pro the end of Pride Month in style. Love it. And we commission a triptych, a 12-foot mural that hangs at Divine Barrel. And then, as you said, three months later, becomes the can on, but like the label on a can of special beer. So it's it's our way of both paying an artist to do work yes. and then giving them really innovative exposure because usually they got to pick one or the other. Right. And uh, I mean, when, when we looked at it and we talked to Charlotte Pride, you know, as much as we were aware of them, they said, it's D'Air or nobody. <laughs> so I called him up like, uh, you know, and then he said, look, I really want to do this with my partner, LaTroy. And it was just a beautiful, not only story, but then the work they created is amazing. And the first time we've ever had a painted mural with 3D aspects and fiber aspects, thanks to LaTroy. Um, okay, there's so much to talk about here. <laughs> partners in work, partners in life. You said, yes. okay, not gonna do it without them. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about where the, I, wh how you, the idea formed for what it would look like and the 3D piece of it. Well, pride is about being your authentic self. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to celebrate being prideful and um, celebration. So bringing that, that whimsical feel to it. And then Troy bringing in the fibers and the texture yeah, I, I wanted to match his energy. If you look at Dyer's work, you'll see that he's a very whimsical illustrator. Like everything just comes to life when he when he paints. Uh -huh. You can see his murals everywhere and they literally are all like that same vibe. So I wanted to capture that vibe, but in a textural like a, yeah. in a texture way. So I kind of implemented my fashion into his art and it, it actually worked together, so. <laughs> I mean, you should have seen it. When we unveiled it, literally <laughs> dropped the curtain. Right. Yeah. People stormed it and for the next two hours, we're just looking at all oh. the intricate yeah. details, yeah. not touching things, like nobody was touching <laughs> the art. Yeah. Slap it was your just, hand. It was this just is the beautiful. moment here. Yes. yes. Yeah, here it is. It is. And, and it looks, uh, here oh it's gonna look a little God. flat. <laughs> sure. But the, all yeah. those letters have different kinds of textures yeah. and fibers on them. What's yeah, you the, can even see the hair It's very cohesive and there are 22, um, individuals depicted in the mural cool. and they're from Charlotte they're, yeah. they're, they're people from here from yeah how did you choose who would be depicted um, we we had pictures submitted from Charlotte pride and um, we used those pictures in the mural and they came out they were excited to see their pictures in the mural yeah it was really I love that and the representation of that really yeah. is important too when we talk about that 3d element of it though how do you do that on something that is so public and and know that it will hold up, know that it will stay that way. A lot of glue. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Amen for glue. A lot yes. of glue and different types of glue. Yes. Gorilla okay. glue, E6000, yes. yes. like every glue that you can think of is probably on that mirror. Yeah. <laughs> and then oh. to know that it will be on a beer can. This is like a whole thing, yeah. right? You go back 10 years, you're not going to see necessarily <laughs> pride on a beer can. Right. And where we are now, you see that more. How important is something like that? It's very important. Yeah. I mean, it holds true to our heart because mm -hmm. I mean, like we're we're at this point and this monumental time where we're like actually having that voice and we're actually being able to be in stores and on the market. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, this won't be like a temporary thing. It'll be like a pride beer. You yeah. remember? You know, mm -hmm. like and I just want that. <laughs> and I think the more people push back against you know equality and 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 people moving forward we have to push back and say look yeah. this is needed we need this in our society we need representation in our community mm -hmm. correct well, which is oh, oh sorry i don't mean to catch no, up no go for it but credit to, to um uh, to divine barrel because yeah. because when i called them and said i but this is what we want to do it was right around the bud light controversy yep. mm -hmm. and without hesitation they were like uh, no, of course <laughs> yes of course we want to do this that was an amazing phone call uh, how yeah. do you two work together like is it a good like is it <laughs> how's the working relationship this was our first our first one it was definitely a um, relationship builder <laughs> okay yes. builder not tester builder, right. builder right. It, so it won't be the last collaboration in this way absolutely it will not be <laughs> and really quickly tim i'm almost out of time yeah. but for you guys to be able to help support artists both you know publicly and financially that has to be really important it, it is and I think that you know you've, you've heard me say it a million times these guys are not only part of our quality of life here mm -hmm. and of talking about things and advancing issues that are uncomfortable in other ways mm -hmm. they're a vital part of our economy yeah. and so again 
Divine Barrel, the North Carolina Arts Council who helped us do this, to see that value and to, to, to lift it up, not only something beautiful, but something valuable on so many different levels was really powerful for us. Yes. Let's go ahead and put all the information Absolutely. up on the screen so people can <laughs> learn more. You can go check it out. So it'll be at Divine Barrel for three months, right? Correct. Yes. So go check it out there. And then, of course, you can buy the beer because, Absolutely. you know, here we are. Here we are. All the information for Charlotte is creative on the screen as well. Thank you guys for coming. We appreciate Thank it. You Thank you. And the beer is amazing. What's in the can is just as beautiful as what's on the outside. There you go. The there you go. Very back over to you.